how to make Ramadan fruits. Now this one's a very important episode because we make this every single day. Uh, for the last few Ramadans we've been doing this every single day and ironically we missed it yesterday. So today we have said that let's go full on all out and let's um, make this properly because it's so so important that we get our fibers. A lot of people just eat oily food during this time and they are not getting their fibers and that's the reason why they feel bloated and they feel as though they are really full quickly it's just not good so we have some nectarines over here some strawberries of course some oranges some raspberries some grapes and some bananas and i've also got a quarter of an orange over here which i'm going to also put into this bowl now you can put any fruits of your choice you don't have to um, pick these ones whatever is available to you or whatever you desire you know I like kiwi fruits I like um, it's not really the season for mangoes but you know if you want to do that in the future you can do that it depends when you watch this video um, I haven't really used apples you can use apples you can use pineapples anything or blueberries so we've got nectarines we've got bananas strawberries raspberries grapes and oranges so now that's all there okay I'm gonna level that out now I'm going to also squeeze this juice, this orange juice, onto this whole fruit bowl. So now um, you can put any dry fruits or nuts of your choice. What we've got over here um, are pine nuts, we've got currants, we've got some chopped dates as well. So I'm going to put some of these in there. You can even put like cashew nuts, almonds, you know, you can chop up some almonds. It would be quite nice, you know, to, to do that. Um, yesterday we, we did that with the dogoma, rose dogoma and rose petal as well that was fantastic what a what a taste came out from that i'm gonna put some of these dates in there and you want to put it in different parts of it you don't want to put it in one area but we'll also mix it up as well these are the currants okay the currants now uh this leaves us with we have some cinnamon powder over here organic cinnamon powder so I'm gonna put half a spoon of cinnamon powder and just um, yeah like this let's move that around this is one of the, it just really enhances the taste trust me on that we, we always do this every year um, now I've got some chia seeds here so chia seeds as we spoke about yesterday when we used the rose dogoma very very good for your health you know it's all about eating clean healthy and also making sure that the taste is um, not compromised with so you're going to get an explosion of, of juices in this and okay that's going in there that's chia seeds there you go that's one spoon there now you have a choice over here so we can either use some honey or you can use some strawberry syrup some date syrup if you've got some pomegranate syrup if you've got some chocolate syrup, any type of syrup, any syrup of your choice, you can drizzle that on top of the fruits. Um, any of these are going to enhance it. What we're going to do today is I'm going to use some strawberry syrup today uh, because I'm just kind of feeling like it. So I'm going to open up, open this up, get this spoon over here. Let me get one tablespoon of this. Okay. Oh, that smells wonderful. So what I've thought about, in, I think in about 10 minutes or something. So this is worth the wait. Look at that. It's wonderful. I might even put one more tablespoon into there. So one more tablespoon of syrup. So you're getting that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this. And then once it's mixed, I'm going to put it into each individual bowl. And then we'll decide what to do, whether to use ice cream or cream. So let's um, get ahead of doing that. Okay, so now we're going to put this, it's been mixed, uh, put it into this bowl around that much. Okay, so the fruits are made. It's been put into this small bowl. We made it in the big bowl. Now, the one I'm going to have is, uh, it's got an ice cream scoop on top of it. A cardboard ice cream, but you can use any ice cream of your choice. You can use like chocolate ice cream, strawberry ice cream, banana ice cream, whatever you want to use. Now, we've also got another one over here, which is, a, which is the Rose Dolgona, which we um, used yesterday. We showed you a video on how to make rose dogona. So we put that on top of this um, fruit 
bowl. Um, and then this one, which is just without it, so you can also enjoy it that way. Um, either way, there's three ways, there's multiple ways, but I'm sure they'll be wonderful in their own way. So let me just have a bit of this. Okay, now the fast has just been broken, had my date. Okay, we've got some rose petals on top of it. Have some bananas. Well, you just know that this is going to be amazing because uh, I don't need to even say anything. Marcus, this is next level. If you have fruits on your own, sometimes you go to like Tesco or to a supermarket and they have fruits which is just plain fruits and they sell it for like three pounds or something. And it's got no seed and it's got nothing on top of it. But this has like cinnamon powder on it, it's got nuts on top of it, um, there's some currants on top of it. It's just really, really enhances it. And then with the ice cream, mm, this is always the best way to to um, start your authority. Try this at home, definitely a must. I, I would recommend it so highly for everyone that's watching this to make this every single day. Make some sort of fruits, have a fruit salad when you do your iftar. So make sure you have your fruits. It will give you enough um, of the, the sugar rush that you kind of need and also it's gonna keep you hydrated or at least um, assist you with that. And it's delicious. It's wonderful, it's cool, it's just a lovely way to open your, or to break your fast. And with that said, if you like this video, comment below what you'd like for us to make in the future. Subscribe to our channel and also click on the notification bell icon. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.